As the result of the generated action potential, calcium ions enter the cell. When the calcium ions enter the cell, they attach on receptors within the cell located on the sarcoplasmic reticulum, initiating more calcium ions to be released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. This process is known as calcium-induced calcium release. When the calcium levels within the cell increase, they bind to troponin complex, enabling tropomyosin to detach from the myosin binding sites on actin. As soon as the actin binding sites are exposed, the contractile proteins, actin and myosin, can form a cross bridge, and thus the muscle cell contracts. Shortly after that, calcium channels close, and the influx of calcium ions stops. Calcium ions within the cell are actively pumped via the calcium ATP pump back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum. With that, the muscle contraction ends.